Good morning, and welcome to the State of the University. The State of the University is a special time when we come together as one Radford family to reflect upon the past, celebrate the present, and plan for the future. And today, we will do just that. Without question, this is an important time in our storied history, and one in which the Highlander students, faculty, staff, and alumni and friends have a unique opportunity, an opportunity to reflect upon our recent and resounding success, while also preparing for our bold and promising future, a future that will be marked by lasting change and powerful results. Now, I would like to take a moment and extend a heartfelt appreciation and everlasting gratitude to a number of groups and individuals who have ensured the full momentum of this university. I must begin with members of the Board of Visitors. Please stand and remain standing as I call your name. Rector Mark Lawrence. Vice Rector Bob Archer. Tom Brewster. Georgia Ann Snyder Falkingham. Jake Fox and Mariah Brooks. Please know that your vision and direction for this university and your tremendous support has benefited Radford University. You give so freely of yourself and your service to this university, and we greatly appreciate each of you. Let's give my bosses a hearty round of applause. In addition to the Board of Visitors, I'd like to acknowledge members of our volunteer boards who create such great opportunity and positive exposure for this university. Would members of the following groups please stand and remain standing? Foundation Board of Directors, led by Nancy Artis. Right. Real Estate Management Board, led by Georgia Ann Snyder Falkingham. Alumni Association Board of Directors, led by Kevin Rogers. And any of the board members that are here, please stand as well. And Athletic Foundation Board, led by A.B. Williams. Please join me in giving these proud Highlanders a warm round of applause for all that they do. Thank you. Thank you so much. And to our shared governance team that are with us today, Faculty Senate President Jake Fox, Administrative and Professional Faculty Senate President Ashley Claude, and Staff Senate President Karen Montgomery, and Student Government Association President Juliana Stanley. I would like to thank each of you for all that you do for our faculty, our staff, and our students. You represent them with pride each and every day. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you. And to members of the Leadership Council, including our Vice Presidents and our Academic Deans, please stand and remain standing. The individuals standing before you have made great strides on behalf of this university. I'm honored and humbled by their unwavering commitment and teamwork and their commitment to shared governance as, as well as their direct engagement with all facets of this campus and this community. Please join me in recognizing each and every one of them for their many accomplishments and their hard work. Thank you guys so much. And I would be remiss if I did not take this opportunity to acknowledge an individual who has continuously provided steadfast guidance as well as enduring support to me, our children, and the Radford family. Please join me in giving my wife and your First Lady a hearty round of applause for all that she does. <laughs> Two years ago, as a part of my inauguration, I proudly stood before a large gathering of students, faculty, staff, alumni, and friends, and supporters on Moffat Lawn. And at that time, I stated, we must engage the Radford family in its totality in planning and executing a bold and innovative agenda which positions us for the future. We must be innovative in every aspect of our work. Innovation must be our new normal. As I stand before you today, Two years later, I can say that the state of the university is strong. I'm proud of our focus on innovation and the progress that we've made together. The results of our work are clear. This campus dedicated itself to a comprehensive year-long strategic planning process that resulted in the adoption of a five-year strategic plan, embracing the tradition, 
envisioning the future. Since the plan's adoption nearly 10 months ago, we've worked diligently on implementation. A few early results of our work include an expanded partnership with New River Community College, a new partnership with Emory and Henry College, the Harvey Knowledge Center located in McConnell Library, the Core Writing Center, and the Enrollment Data Council. And with the implementation of the strategic plan, we've made needed investments in support of our critical mission, especially our academic programs. Look no further than the Clinical Simulation Center located in Cook Hall. Through an investment of nearly $1 million, the state-of-the-art space features hospital rooms, exam rooms, interview rooms, and debriefing spaces. The space located on the third floor replaces the former Clinical Simulation Center, which opened in 2006 in Radford University's Corporate Park. It also provides great accessibility and functionality as it's located next to Waldron Hall, the home of the School of Nursing. We've made other important investments, such as the Radford Amazonian Research Expedition, are rare. Now, the RARE program provides students with the opportunity to travel to the Amazon, explore Peruvian rainforests, and conduct personally designed scholarly projects which have global impact. Now, due to our commitment to student research, a key component of the strategic plan, the university made a $25,000 investment in the RARE program this past summer. Today, I'm happy to announce that we will invest $100,000 over the next four years to advance this great program. In addition to investing in academic programs and valuable experiences, Radford University has made direct investments in our students. We know that an investment in students is an investment in their success and, frankly, our future. Historically, Radford University invested $4.2 million annually in direct scholarship support for students. I'm proud to say that most recently, this number has grown to $7.5 million, reflecting the student-centered philosophy of the Radford family. This represents an increase of 81%. And I think it's a true testament to how we live our core values each and every day. Now that deserves a round of applause. I submit to you that we cannot stop there and we will not stop there. Indeed, the achievements of the Radford family are remarkable. Our talented students, world-class faculty, dedicated staff, passionate alumni, and caring community members are proudly demonstrating their Highlander pride each and every day. And their impact is far-reaching and life-changing in so many ways. Consider this. Last spring, the Artist College of Science and Technology was notified that its Department of Chemistry was recently added to the American Chemical Society list of approved institutions, an honor the department had worked diligently to attain for a number of years. In order to receive approval, programs must meet rigorous established standards, including the quality of the curriculum, facilities, faculty research, and teaching load. Could I ask Dean Orion Rogers and Department Chair Chris Herman as well as our students, faculty, and staff that we have from the Department of Chemistry to please stand. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you. Now, thanks to the insight of administrators and faculty in the Davis College of Business and Economics, two distinguished business leaders and industry executives visited our campus. During their visit, they shared their experience and knowledge with the next generation of business leaders. In November, Jamie Webster, a senior director at the Boston Consultant Group Center for Energy Impact, delivered a keynote address as a part of the BB&T Global Capitalism Lecture Series. A 1998 graduate, Jamie is an expert in energy markets and geopolitics with a focus on oil market balance evaluation and national energy policies. And in late April, the same lecture series brought Jason Silvers, a partner at Goldman Sachs, um, to our beautiful campus. And we were very happy to have him. He gave an amazing lecture. The Global Capitalism Lecture Series sponsored by bb and is a part of our semi-annual symposium to stimulate thought and discussion about capitalism, the tenets of free enterprise, and best practices of successful organizations. Could I ask Grayson Patterson, Jason Radiger, as well as Monica Wiley from bb and to please stand. Join me, join me, please. Thank you. 
we have to appreciate community focused groups like BBNT, and we're reaching out and we thank you so much. Let's give them another round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> Could I also ask Department Chair Jeff Altsmanmeyer, as well as Program Coordinator Valerie Leak, to please stand? Students, faculty, and staff from Counseling Psychology, would you please join them if we have any with us? Thank you. Housed in the College of Humanities and Behavior Sciences, this distinguished program, which has focused on rural mental health, was named the best in the country for 2017-2018 academic year by an online publication. BestCounselingDegrees.net recognized Radford University's SID program based on licensure percentage and other factors. Radford University has one of the highest licensure percentages with 100% of graduates receiving their license after completion of the program. This program certainly deserves a hearty round of applause. Now I'd like to ask Dean Margaret Devaney as well as Department Chair Holly Klein to please stand. Design Intelligence has ranked Radford University's interior design program as the nation's 13th most admired undergraduate program. This is an incredible honor and speaks to the quality of our program and its reputation in the industry and across the nation. Students, faculty, and staff in the design program, please stand with your dean and your chair as we recognize your individual and collective achievements. We're so proud of you. Thanks to the dedicated students, faculty, and staff from the Waldron College of Health and Human Services, Radford School of Nursing program on the main campus and in Roanoke have been rated the number two and the number eight out of 48 nursing programs that were analyzed and 20 programs that were ranked. The excellence of these programs was highlighted by registerednursing.org, an online registered nursing program that literally looks at excellence in nursing. Will Dean Cox, as well as Interim Director Iris Mullins, as well as any students, faculty, or staff from the School of Nursing, please stand. I think we all can agree that Radford University has garnered and will continue to receive significant recognition for our signature academic programs in health sciences, healthcare, and human services across the lifespan. This most recent honor and the quality of our nursing program deserves another robust round of applause. Let's give them another round of applause. Thank you. Now, such well-deserved accolades and remarkable progress come at an exciting time as Radford and supporters of this institution have provided increased support on multiple levels. Just a few short weeks ago, we came together as a Radford family to announce and celebrate the largest gift by an individual in the history of this university. The incredible generosity of Sandy and Jack Davis will forever change our university. Their selfless gift to current and future generations of Highlanders will create countless opportunities across our beautiful campus, especially for students studying in the Davis College of Business and Economics. It has a nice ring to it, by the way. As well as the College of Visual and Performing Arts. Without question, it was a special day for our university. What a momentous occasion for our great university. To our honored guests, Sandy and Jack Davis, without proud champions and generous supporters like you, the important work that occurs across this campus and beyond simply would not be possible. Today we announce an incredible gift that will change the lives of students and their families forever. Today we announce a generous gift that will forever change Radford University. Today I have the distinct honor of standing before each of you and announcing a landmark gift to provide scholarships to students studying in the College of Business and Economics and the College of Visual and Performing Arts. Sandy and Jack's monumental gift will produce a lifetime of Davis scholars who will excel in the classroom and provide their time and talent to the communities in which they live and they work. I say to each of you, a monumental gift resulting in the naming of the Sandra C. Davis and William C. Davis College of Business and Economics. 
in honor of their $8 million gift to Radford University. Thank you guys so much. Let's give them a round of applause. It's a great moment for Sandra and myself. We hope a great moment for Radford. The time for this College of Business and Economics is now. We think it vital that young people from our region get the encouragement and guidance to acquire the mindset and the skills and the character that will produce the imaginative and innovative business leaders of the next generation. We believe that the future here is in good hands. Both of you are inspiring to this entire Radford family. You are helping us define the future for Radford University. All of the experiences here at Radford would be impossible without the support of donors. This is certainly a moment that we will cherish for many years to come. Cindy and Jack, please stand so that we can honor both of you and express our everlasting appreciation for all that you do. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing Sandy and Jack. With the recent momentous occasion, Sandy and Jack are leading the way. Last year, the Radford family secured $15.2 million in philanthropic giving to support our university, our programs, and our students. This is significant for a number of reasons. The university averaged approximately $4 million per year before record-breaking fiscal years in 2016 at $8 million, followed by 2017 at $10.7 million, and 2018 at $15.2 million. Now, of the 15.2 million, 11.1 million was dedicated to student scholarships. Our strategic plan established a goal of raising 15 million annually by 2023. I'm proud to say that we met that goal in our very first year of implementation. We must continue building upon that strong foundation, and we will do just that. At this time, I would like to introduce our Vice President for University Advancement, Wendell Lowry, and our Foundation Chief Executive Officer, John Cox. Would you both please stand? Could I also, thank you, thank you. Could I also ask Wendy's team and John's team to stand as well? I'd like for you to really join me in acknowledging this dedicated and talented group of individuals with another round of applause for all they're contributing to this institution. Let's give them another round of applause. And as you took a look at their faces, you see no pressure at all about continuing this momentum, right? No pressure at all. Give them one more round of applause. Like Wendy and John, the individual accomplishments of the members of the Raptor family are vast. I must take this opportunity to highlight two traditions truly demonstrating what this campus does for our community. Earlier this week, the Radford family engaged in our third annual Radford Gives Back event. Now, this event provides critical support to Radford City Public Schools and the Bobcat Backpacks program. This is a program that's very near and dear to my heart and that of my family. Our family has proudly participated every year and in the last three years, get this, the Radford family has contributed nearly 50,000 food items to help needy students in our school area. Could I please ask faculty member, retired faculty member Lee Stewart and Teresa Dickens in the Center for Career and Talent Development to please stand and remain standing? Could I also ask Radford City School Superintendent Rob Graham and Bobcat Backpacks founders who are with us today, Daniela Bruner, Jenny Reif, and Jane Fisher, whom all are Highlander alumni. I want you to join me in giving a warm round of applause and celebrate this important partnership with our community and the fact that they are truly changing lives. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. And this past January, we joined together for the fifth annual Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Celebration and Service. Each year, students, along with faculty and staff, volunteer throughout the New River Valley with various organizations at multiple sites. 
The event is sponsored by the Center for Diversity and Inclusion, Scholar Citizens Initiative, Diversity Awareness Programming, and McConnell Library. Could I have any of the individuals from any of these areas please stand and be recognized for their exemplary leadership of this important initiative? Do we have any of those folks with us? Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's also take this opportunity to showcase the academic and athletic accomplishments of Radford University's student athletes. These talented Highlanders continue to impress with their academic performance throughout the 2017-2018 academic year. Their accomplishments include 48 graduates, 242 Dean's List members, 63 with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Now that deserves a round of applause. and 26 major individual awards. With two Big South championships and three postseason tournament appearances, it was truly a season to remember. I'm proud of our women's volleyball team who defeated High Point University to become the Big South champions, which propelled them into the NCAA tournament. Let's give our ladies a round of applause. We appreciate them. And for men's basketball, this past season resulted in the first NCAA tournament win, which began with the shot that we all remember and included, yes, and included a memorable March Madness journey. Carly Jones, and here we go for all the marbles in the Big South. The freshman dribbles right side in front of Cabell with four, with three. He got a late start. The freshman of the year for three in the championship. Good! It's good! Carly Jones sends Radford Danson into the NCAA tournament as he drains the 23-footer as the buzzer sounds. And the redshirt freshman says, no problem, boys. Jump on my back, and I'll lead you back to the promised land. And we cannot forget the Highlander, the number one mascot in 2018 NCAA tournament. The, yes. The Highlander engages in athletic events, quest, community service projects, and so many other. And, And clearly the state of the university, Robert. <laughs> As Highlanders, we're responsive, we're resilient, we're real. And while members of the Radford family are making their mark on our community and society, the landscape of our campus is changing right before our eyes. 
During the 2017-2018 academic year, we reopened Russell Hall, a true gathering place located in the heart of campus. Russell Hall is home to a variety of offices that serve our students throughout their Highlander journey. And without question, the offices located in Russell Hall have set a high bar for going above and beyond to provide seamless experiences for our campus. We also reopened Witt Hall, the home of high impact practices, sustainability, undergraduate research, scholar citizens initiative, new student programs, undergraduate advising, and faculty senate. Like Russell Hall, Witt Hall provides a collaborative academic environment bringing together various offices and services, including the Department of Mathematics and Statistics. And we're in the midst of a comprehensive renovation to Reed and Curry Halls. The three-year renovation period is in full swing and will provide a complete state-of-the-art home for the Artist College of Science and Technology. Now, I would be remiss if I did not take this opportunity to recognize the namesakes of the Artist College, Nancy and Pat Artists, who are with us here today. Nancy and Pat, would you please stand? We thank both of you for all that you do for this great university. Let's give them one more round of applause. Thank you. This, the renovation of Reed and Curry, coupled with the recent completion of the Center for the Sciences, will enable Radford University to garner regional, national, and international recognition for our outstanding academic programs. These facilities will allow us to continue our journey in being a premier leader in cybersecurity education in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Finally, as we begin to embark on a journey to develop a vision and, and really advocate for funding for the Center for Adaptive Innovation and Creativity, this is an important project for this university, and we're committed to pursue that for our faculty and staff in both of the colleges that will benefit from this. These projects are critical components of our campus infrastructure and our future. They are driving much of our conversation behind a campus-wide master planning process. The 10-year master plan will be informed by engagement from the campus community, including re recently held open forums. Could I ask members of the master planning committee to please stand? Our master planning committee. The, the, one second. One second. I want to just say to you that the individuals I have been meeting are, are quite so much since April. We're so proud of them. They continue to work diligently over the course of the next year as we move forward, and it will result in a comprehensive master plan that we know that will help transform this university as we move forward. So please join me in acknowledging these individuals. Thank you so much. As our campus changes, our programs and services are evolving as well. Last year, I stood before you as a part of my inaugural State of the University Address to announce the Highlander Research Rookies Program. From that announcement, a working group was formed and spent last fall and spring developing program criteria and identifying the inaugural class. These freshmen and sophomore students come from 13 cities, four states, and two countries. They've identified varying interests ranging from flooding and climate patterns in Asia to perceptions of student learning in Nepal, and the effects of runoff on bacterial drug resistance. And today, I'm so honored to introduce the inaugural class of research rookies and their faculty mentors. The dynamic duo of student and faculty represent every academic college on this campus. To our research rookies and their faculty mentors, please stand. Could I, could I, also, ask, could I also ask Dr. Joe Wargal, Director of Undergraduate Research and Scholarship, to please stand with this distinguished group. I say to each of you that I cannot wait to see what the future holds for these Highlanders. Please join me in applauding this distinguished group of talented scholars and their faculty mentors. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. And we cannot forget the students, faculty, and staff that have made our impact program a resounding success. Launched just over a year ago, this program has become a trademark for Radford University across the Commonwealth and the region. This past summer, we celebrated our first graduate and welcomed our 14th strategic partner. And since that time, we've celebrated two additional graduates. Today, I'm honored to stand before you and say that we currently have 488 impact students enrolled at Radford University. I would like to ask the entire Charter Impact Lab team to please stand 
and be recognized for their innovative spirit and their entrepreneurial efforts. They're truly leading the way. Let's give them a round of applause. Now there's another group that has been working around the clock to move forward an exciting and an important initiative. There's approximately 100 individuals on our campus and in Roanoke who are devoting countless hours in order to merge Jefferson College of Health Sciences into the Radford family of colleges and departments. Through the steering committees as well as various subcommittees, these individuals are embracing innovation in securing a future for our region and the Commonwealth. Slated for merger completion next fall, these individuals are working collaboratively and diligently to meet extensive state and accreditor requirements. Could I have all of the individuals working on the merger to please stand? Let's applaud these individuals as they stand. All of our Jefferson College individuals that are with us today, all their faculty and staff that are with us, I think we have a few in the audience. Please stand and let's give them a warm Highlander welcome. Thank you. What will Jefferson College of Health Sciences students, faculty, and staff find in the Radford family? They will find an inclusive campus with the founding principles of teaching and learning a caring community driven to serve, an innovative spirit with limitless opportunity, and an academic community that is focused on teaching excellence. I'm confident that our campus will continue to evolve as innovative programs and initiatives such as the Chatra Impact Lab and the Jefferson College of Health Sciences merger continue to take shape. Due to our bright future and our strong reputation, I'm also pleased to make another important announcement today. Today, I'm pleased to announce the establishment of the Presidential Fellows Program. The program creates an opportunity for faculty members to dedicate time, expertise, and passion to a specific project while fulfilling the university's mission to, to the community and to serve. Administered and sponsored by our office, the program offers reassigned time to a faculty member during the spring semester to pursue ideas that are designed to enhance the university's focus on teaching, research, and service. Now, while fulfilling Radford University's core values, the Presidential Fellows Program strives to embody the spirit of excellence, creativity, discovery, and inclusion while providing a supportive environment for leadership growth, professional development, and relationship building. So I'm looking forward to the selection of, and contributions of our inaugural Presidential Fellow. Each and every one of us here today possess the determination, the persistence, the strength, and the tenacity to achieve the ambitious goals that we've established for ourselves and our campus. We must embrace our critical mission. We must continue our great work. And we must tell our powerful story.
We are prepared to define and redefine Radford University, a university that is driven by our vision of becoming a premier innovative university in the Commonwealth of Virginia and beyond with a keen focus on teaching, research, and service, a university that is driven by our mission of empowering students from diverse backgrounds by providing transformative educational experiences, a university that is driven by our core values for students as we look at student empowerment, excellence, intellectual freedom, and innovation, just to name a few. So as I began, the state of the university is strong. We're committed to our vision. We're dedicated to our mission. We're focused on our core values. We're responsive. We're resilient. We're real. We're Highlanders. God bless each of you, and go Highlanders. Thank you.